a related question on the Holy Spirit. Uh, sometimes we hear folks say that he's the forgotten person or he's been ignored and we need to bring the Holy Spirit back in full force. How do you orient on a question like that? I've been around long enough to know that there have been seasons when he's been over-attended to and under-attended to. So if you ask me right now, uh, I would say, well, that's probably true somewhere. Maybe in young reform, restless, whatever we're called. Not young here. <laughs> whatever this movement is called. Um, maybe so. Um, especially the fullness of his work. Not his role in effectual calling, but his gifts, mm -hmm. uh, his necessity for powerful witness, tarry in Jerusalem, wait in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You will receive the Holy Spirit and you will be my witnesses. So for emphasizing the necessity of the power of the Holy Spirit for witnesses, for witnessing. I, I was thinking the other day of this. Um, yeah, I think the work of the Holy Spirit in terms of His varied gifts is downplayed uh, too much in our Reformed or really just typical evangelical churches. And here's, here's an illustration. If you've been praying for a person, maybe even yourself, and a, a sin or a sickness, a moral thing or a physical thing, and it hasn't yielded to your prayer for years. You still struggle with it morally or you still have the physical condition. Now, one absolutely right factor biblically to take into consideration is God's sovereign timing and that He wants you to pray and He's going to answer you, but it may not be for 13 years. Now, I choose 13 because of your teaching the other night on Psalms, and you drew attention to the fact that Joseph was sold into slavery, and he didn't understand why he was going through all this pain for 13 years. And then it all came clear when he became the vice president of Egypt and saved the seed of the Messiah. Hmm. Oh, okay, now I get it, Lord, I'm willing, but in, at, at year six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, <laughs> you're saying, God, I'm trying to be faithful and I get lied about, I get thrown in prison. What's up with your children being treated this way? So everybody has stuff like that in your life. And timing is one answer. What about gifts being another one? Here's what hit me the other day. If there are gifts of healing, if there are gifts of faith, gifts of miracle, gifts of discernment, that means some Christians are going to be granted answers to those prayers where others aren't. So maybe the reason I'm not getting the answer to my moral struggle or my physical struggle is because I haven't asked Jane to pray for me because Jane has the gift of healing or Jane has the gift of discernment of spirits and can see something here that needs to be seen. And I've locked myself in my closet. God save me. God help me. God strengthen me. God deliver me. God, and, and God is, is saying, uh, I have taught you about spiritual gifts. You don't ever avail yourselves of them. So don't come complaining to me that I haven't responded to you when I have gifts waiting for you and you never open the package. So I think um, I could do better and we could do better at that level. So the answer is that, that in various groups, various ministries of the Holy Spirit are probably underrated, underemphasized.